So this is a uh, so an energy meeting, so it's also important to um, remind you know, a bit of the rule of uh, an energy meeting that in any in, in, uh, IRT after meetings. So just uh, regarding, uh, of course, here just uh, focus on some aspect, but uh, you have time also to read uh, all this uh, all this slide. Uh, so in particular regarding the uh, intellectual property, um, I don't have received any request for this meeting, but if uh, uh, there is something that uh, is related or is, uh, is under uh, uh, intellectual property right, it's important that you disclose that uh, before the meeting or just uh, let us know that if you want to disclose, uh, if, you, if you will have to disclose something that is uh, IP of IP. So this is very important, uh, like I mean, uh, we follow basically the IETF and that you follow that as well. Uh, important also as uh, people who are familiar with uh, an energy meeting and IETF meeting as well, that uh, everything is uh, now recorded. As you can see now, you should be able to see there is a web on the screen and the WebEx interface. So it's important, of course, it's in an online meeting that if you don't want to be recorded, simply just to switch off your camera or your microphone. Otherwise, we, uh, we, uh, we suppose that you agree to be recorded. <coughs> uh, again, uh, some, um, some uh, additional information regarding the privacy and kind of conflict. So of course it is very important here that we are, that we follow this rule as well that we need to be respectful to the other participant. Um, and in case of, uh, of issue, of course we have procedures that are documenting the RFC uh, that uh, you can also follow. And yeah, so it's uh, we also have to remind you that this is uh, not a naive EF working group, but uh, an, an research group on the IRTF, so our main purpose is not to develop standards, but to focus on term research uh, and uh, also pursuing a cooperation between industry and academia. But even if you can publish some things, it's not the primary goal of the, of the group, of course, of any research. So, as I said before, so the session is recorded. Uh, also, it, it's good that uh, you keep your mic off when you're not speaking, not only just for recording, but also just uh, avoid to have uh, uh, noise. I think there are not so, so many here. So, it could, be, it could be very easy to block who is speaking because we are not a, a large number of this very focused meeting. So, usually you have to, 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 to state your name and affiliation, but I think for today it could be easy to. Thomas Tanko is speaking in the interface. Uh, may I ask you also to go to this uh, link regarding the notes, minute of the meeting? I started to, to fill out the, the first name from the attendee list, but it would be nice if you just had your name. And of course, you can also put some notes here. We can do also some notes online on the paper, but please add your name now. And uh, as I said before, as it's recording, you can find again the session on the IETF uh, channel on YouTube. Okay, so <coughs> let's now start with the with the, the, the call of the meeting, which is about the discussion regarding the uh, the document about the artificial intelligence in network management or the coupling between both of them. Um, and I think most of you know this is a document that is uh, is quite long with some, of course, uh, some let's say period where we are very active and where we are a bit more silent then. Um, so, if, if you look now into the document, we see that we have a number of challenges that we have uh, already defined and that uh, different people have defined with their own views. We have a kind of introduction. Um, so, for me, the objective of uh, today would be that we are uh, today and uh, maybe on the mailing list because we have also to request for feedback on the mailing list in, in the coming week, maybe will be to rapidly, I would say, through the challenges. So mostly today we will discuss what are the challenges that we want to uh, discuss in the document. So what I mean is not that it will be free for, 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 
of course. In the period of time, that but you freeze it in order to really work and uh, refine the content of each image. And that's why this is the second point that we somehow agree on what kind of uh, details you would like to see in each image and uh, what is the type of, uh, of description you would like to have. And it would be good for that also that for each challenge we'll be able to identify someone who is somehow the, the leader of this uh, in, uh, lead editor in the challenge. But uh, not only that he has to, he or she has to write everything, but somehow maybe do some consolidation, some comments, some proposed modification. And also because I think we, we also need some hope to, to progress in the document in a more, let's say, a continuous manner, try to set some milestones, of course, all together on this uh, um, Is any of you have any other, um, is, it, is there any feedback or objective or point you would like to see today regarding to this document? I think this is fine. Uh, I have one comment regarding freezing the challenge list. I'm not sure if we need to freeze. Uh, I think basically if some challenges get identified later, that should probably be still okay. But I think, of course, we need to basically freeze maybe for the initial thing so that we produce something with what we have. But uh, I think if there's something that gets later identified, uh, that it should still be possible to add it. I, I fully agree, Alex. I actually, then I think we go to the next slide. It's really my, my, my thought here is that we, uh, by freezing here, what I mean is, yes, we, um, um, we somehow um, uh, try, try to, I mean, freeze the initial list in order to to really progress deeply on this challenge challenge and later on maybe we can include uh, some more. But yes, it's, I think it's really aligned with uh, what I have in mind at least. Mm -hmm. because, uh, yeah, but I, but I fully agree that we need to basically have basically this initial set and I think what we have is actually sufficient to basically uh, have at least the first iteration of a deliverable. Exactly. So the idea is really to, to have one full uh, first iteration. And so here's a list of challenge because I will always question, do we have enough coverage, should we extend and so on. At some point, it's a reality to say that we have a full coverage, but we have also to be a bit uh, confident in, uh, in our, in the challenge we describe and say that maybe the most, uh, the top challenges that we should first describe and yeah. Then it's the second duration, you can have a look on, more, on some others. Uh, so yeah, just just a recall of the challenges that we have in the current version, with uh, contrib contributors identified and some who just try to, to evaluate the uh, let's say the content that is provided, not in terms not really in terms of quality actually, but in terms of uh, details. Uh, you know, for some it's just bullet point, for some other just one sentence, and for some it's already. Uh, uh, I mean, a uh, word phrase. So, and we will discuss what we expect in the content a bit at all, but just to, to see that we have already yes, some uh, some challenges that are well described. Some of them we have some idea, but as you can see here, we have some of them which are which needs uh, which need kind of effort to be uh, to be uh, written. And we have a nice and too much time on that, and then we can we will go back anyway to this list afterwards. Um, <clears throat> so here, I just try to to somehow summarize what we have in the current description of the challenges. Um, I I somehow find three main uh, main type of three main. If you look into the outline of the challenge description. In my opinion, there are three main parts that are really, uh, really important and relevant. And sometimes when applicable, we have uh, one of them. So, so the three main are, uh, the first part is about describe, describing why we have the challenge, uh, this document, why we have this challenge related to, to AI, uh, coupling AI and NM in particular aspects. So for us, challenge where we have a cross means that basically some way it's described. Uh, why it's important, why it's uh, uh, very important to to tackle such a challenge. So some other ideas to show that uh, the challenge 
that we describe here is not artificial, but comes from some more a real need. Uh, I, I don't know, for example, if I take one of them, uh, okay, that uh, for the explainability of the networking products, if you want people that uh, it's, it's written that different people are really able to use it and uh, really able to deploy it, they, they, need, uh, they need to have some confidence in the AI they will use, and so they need some more explainable AI in our domain, like in others. But so now we have this third part about motivation. Then we have some time, uh, not really well documented most of the time, is some reference regarding the advance in the state of the art. This is the second column here. And then we have a more detailed description of the challenge, uh, which is usually can take different facets or sub challenges, I would say. And so as you can see, basically, we have most of the time we have a good motivation, we have also a good channel description. We have not so much references for really the advances that have been achieved till now in the state of the art. And so, some of the time, we have also some proposed solution. So, in my opinion, this document is not about uh, giving solutions to the challenge because we are just here documenting the challenge. But of course, if we want to highlight some path or orientation somehow to address the challenge, I think it's okay. But it should not be, in my opinion, mandatory um, in, this, uh, in this kind of document. And anyway, we'll have a general, if everything goes well, we'll have a general section in the document or orientation, not on the challenge specific level. So, yeah, just only my. Um, Analysis uh, after reading again the, uh, the challenges that we have in the document. Um, Jerome, what do the dashes uh, signify? Sorry. The, you, you have crosses and dashes in this table, right? Yeah. What, what do the dashes signify? Yeah, the dashes meant that uh, somehow we have it's not so clear, sometimes it's a bit uh, mixed uh, with uh, other contents, or it's very short, or, you know. Okay, uh, all right. Uh, of course, this is uh, so sometimes you have clearly one paragraph for each of them, and sometimes it's mixed together, and so it's, it's less clear. Or it would require in some details, but uh, yeah. So, I think in general, I think we, we are, uh, yeah, naturally, we are good at uh, describing the, the challenge itself. Um, we have some motivation, but then we have a few of, of uh, regarding the state of the and so for this analysis, of course, it's just a proposal that I want to discuss with you. Um, if you look for a template, if, uh, uh, um, I would say that we could try to, to somehow follow this template where we have the motivation, the state of the current state of the art. So not only I mean, from an academic perspective, but also from normative references there are, from industry, pro industry products and so on. And then I think it's natural if you follow this, uh, some of these templates or this plan that uh, if you know what are the challenges you, that are important to address, what is the current uh, status, I mean, from a technology or from a scientific perspective, it's very easy to describe what are the, what remains somehow challenging in the challenge, uh, what are the remaining issues to be resolved. So I would say that I would. I would like to follow this uh, template or this uh, outline. Of course, uh, as I said before, we can have some uh, some uh, arrangement. We don't need exactly to have uh, some one section for each uh, for each bullet point here, but at least some more kind of flow in the channel description. What do you think? I think this is fine. And in terms of the contents, I, I think, uh, yeah, I don't think this is controversial. Uh, I think the, for, for the template itself is, of course, the question, uh, yeah, what type of document we have in mind, basically? Is this going to be like a journal style type of thing or is it basically internet draft uh, uh, style? Uh, because we will need to basically, I, th I think, basically, so we have the Google Doc right now, but uh, this is not the document itself, right? Basically from that, uh, we, we take this and need to yeah, we, we need to render the content somehow. So what do you have in mind there? Will this be basically an internet draft? 
Is that the? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had this discussion several times and also discussed point to point with people. The, the thing is that there is no, I mean, I think, uh, personally, not as chair, I think that for this kind of document would be good to have a kind of a white paper or it's a magazine paper. Um, but I also understand that for people it would be important to have this as an individual draft to, uh, to have some visibility within, let's say, IETF, IRTF community. Um, and after that point, so I think if I end up anticipate a bit on my next slides, I, I can make the effort to maintain the, somehow the, um, the Google Doc because people also like to work in Google Doc and so, so I can try to maintain both versions uh, as an ID and uh, as, a, as a Google Doc. And sometimes I would say that we should have the, uh, the draft as a working document as well, visible working document, because the Google Doc is only for people to participate, of course, if you have the link you can access. And uh, when we have a version which is quite uh, enough uh, mature, uh, I will somehow propose also to, uh, to, 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 yeah, to publish as a, as a white paper or magazine, and depending also, of course, on your feedback. But, Yes, um, there, are, there are some other issues that we can discuss because uh, we have a lot of contributors and uh, usually in the draft you cannot have so much uh, authors. Uh, you may have people in acknowledgement, but uh, you cannot have so much author or you have to request for, for a particular case. But uh, yeah, it's also important that uh, to, to know that, that if you only go, for example, for the, for the draft, uh, for the ID. Uh, you will have only, uh, probably uh, um, some people that will be as a whole for the draft, and some other will be only that much. So, but maybe we can, as we are not so many here, I mean, if people want to also express, they would prefer just as draft or as, a, as white paper or other, just, just let us know your opinion a little bit. Yeah, I, I think probably it's, it's, it's white paper or something. This is fine, but I think we need to. But what, what I'm wondering, so so we have this document right now in the Google Docs, um, but it's really more. It's an yeah, it's an outline for a document, but I think the actual writing. <laughs> That is probably be. I'm not sure if we would do this in the template or if this is a separate thing or if we, or if we fill this out or how we go about that. Right. I, I think basically at this point we probably just need to start writing the actual document. Um, that's at least my, my my feeling because yeah we have all these bullet lists and so forth. All, all, all this is fine, but uh, again I think we need to put this somewhat into the into a different format where we do the actual writing, so so to speak. I agree, I agree, Alex, and uh, I think here when I put bullet point for the proposition here, motivation, consistent of the art and detailed description, for me it should be, it should not be bullet point then, it should be really, really a little bit like, uh, put in, either in an ID or in a magazine, but yes, um, well, well, yeah, exactly. But, um, I don't think that if you, yeah. Yeah, whatever we will be, the, let's say the final output, it will be in a, I don't know if a journal or if it be in a, in a graph. I mean that the text would be somewhat the same in terms of, uh, let's say. Uh, sure. Right, 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 right. Yeah. So, so I'm guessing so the, the thing that we will need at this point uh, is, 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 oh, sorry, I'm getting out of echo, is to, is to put a skeleton. I don't know what the step is for that. If you, if you were planning to put this forward or, or how we go about that? That maybe one one of the next steps, uh, I guess, uh, probably that we should <laughs> yeah, try to identify. <clears throat> yes. So, okay. Uh, maybe you can. Uh, 
Or well, maybe you can, if you want, we can check next step now. I think I put on my last slide that we can, I think, already have a look. Have a look. Well, it's, it's what I would like to. I, I propose, but of course, the idea is that we will find all together. Uh, <clears throat> my idea was that by the, by the end of the month is to identify who will be the main lead or main contributor for each challenge. And then we agree on the list of challenges. So some of it will be today, but I want also to leave the opportunity for people on the mailing list to react. Um, so after mm -hmm. this meeting, I've been sent uh, the, the minutes and uh, we ask feedback from people about the, the, the list if they want to uh, disagree or not. I don't think so because we don't receive so much, uh, let's say, uh, uh, issue raised by people regarding the list of challenges we have. And my idea, if, uh, uh, if everything goes well, will be that well for July. But this is short, but we have already some content. We need to have one or two challenges as examples that we fully, uh, that, we, uh, um, that we wrote, uh, that we will write uh, fully, completely. I mean, as a, as a, as a, as a text, not bullet points. Um, and that can serve as example because I know that we can provide template, but also people, uh, maybe it's easier if you have also some example to really understand what type of uh, description we are expecting. So the idea is to take one or two challenges where we have many contributors. Why many? Because with many, we can have more views. And somehow we should have, it should represent kind of consensus of the type of description you have regarding the challenge. And based on that, uh, then I would say that for September, all challenges could be written accordingly, according to the template that you are discussing today, but also according to the example that we will be right, sorry. And so we have a, in September all challenges, I mean, the first version, of course, but I mean, we are a text version, not, uh, not a working version, but also readable version that we can also. Uh, somehow uh, published in, in, uh, I mean, uh, proposed in, 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 in a draft. Plus, plus introduction, so I propose to, of course, if somebody wants to take this point, I propose to take this section point from here regarding the introduction, because we have already an introduction. As you said, there is a lot of bullet points, a lot of comments, and there was also some minutes from previous meetings. So the idea would be to refine the introduction and somehow to consolidate all comments we received. Meaning that in September we have a, a version with two main parts, the introduction and the channel describe. That is my plan, somehow. I, I know this is also the, the yeah, summer time, it's uh, holiday time, so it's not so, so easy, but uh, also for challenges, we don't expect to have uh, so many pages per, per, per challenge. I mean, one challenge, so always for me, what we get in mind is approximately one page, if not more. Um, so I think this is doable. Um, but of course, again, here yeah, it's really it's really open to for everybody who wants to, to react to say that it's uh, will have more milestones, maybe more uh, well, something more continuous here, or maybe it's uh, not realistic. Just let me know. Um, <laughs> just proposition, all these things, just proposition. So please uh, really uh, give me your, your feedback. Uh, this, is still, um, this is the first document that I'm uh, also trying to or have in front of you. How would we now move forward to identify uh, the main contributors or the list of challenges until June 30th via email or in the meeting today? Or what was the plan for that? Okay. Can you repeat? I don't hear you very well. Maybe we just increase the volume of the next slide as well. Um, I don't know if I just missed that, but uh, in, in the timetable you said to uh, identify the main contributors and the list of challenges until June 30th. I think you said uh, you wanted to do that via the email list again or in the meeting today. Okay, so, so the idea is that uh, today, if, of course, if we are in meeting, 
Uh, 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 yeah, uh, I that have already. And of course, I will allow, yeah, till uh, one more week for people also to provide feedback on the mailing list. To, yeah, to know it's, the goal is to agree on the, the list of challenges that you want to work on. Okay, yeah. yeah. Thanks. But yes. as, as, I, I, yeah, and as, as, as I said, the idea is that to have this first list that we go through all this process and maybe in September we say, oh, we need some important uh, challenges, let's add it. Yes, yeah, that will be possible. But we need to freeze to, to progress more deeply into the each challenge, I think. Really yeah, that's on that, that's on, I, I, one, one comment that I would have is, uh, yeah, I think it's good to maybe to do it via email or via uh, today. For me, actually, I am on PTO, so I will not be much on, <laughs> on email. Um, uh, for the contributor identification, I think this is in, in part we can leave it also busy, but I think as, as stuff is being written, I, I, I'm not sure if we need to well, we can have perhaps the an intent to contribute, <laughs> identified, but the actual contributors. I think this will depend on, uh, yeah, on yeah, on the sections that that are going to be received. And I'm not sure if we need to make that decision on June 30th. But I think the intent to to contribute that that's good. But I think who will be the actual contributors? We will see this probably on September 7th. Yeah, um, uh, I, I'm, I'm just saying because because none of us has have really written anything as of yet for the actual <laughs> document. So. so, sorry, Alex, what did you say? Oh. I, I, I'm just saying, I think all of us here on the call probably intend to contribute to this and the people who have already basically put this stuff into the Google Docs document and it's great. So I think this is great for, for a start, um, but I think it's also at the same time still still necessary to make the actual contributions so i think we can have the list of country well the, the intent the people who want to contribute identified but we don't have to, but i think on june 30th we will not need know the definitive list because it will depend on then the actual contributions that well the, the time that we have to to put in right because some yeah uh, maybe some 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 people come late but have a great contribution to make so they should be added and other people while they have all the best intention to to contribute it, uh, to contribute may not get around to to doing it uh, after all right so this is why i say we don't have to necessarily identify all the contributors by june 30th we can leave this open until a little bit later right uh, until we have the actual text created yeah, yeah, yeah sure uh, what, what i mean here actually is trying to identify not the list of contributors per challenge, but for each challenge, maybe one person who will somehow take in charge the editing of the section. Um, yes, that, may, this is, that makes a lot of sense. I agree. This can change. I mean, if somebody joined later and is uh, more comfortable to take the lead of one section, I think it can change. It's just that somehow, you, you know, we got a lot of comments on the different challenges. And of course, I can go over all of them and, uh, and uh, consolidate, consolidate. But the idea is it should also somehow be more, let's say, collaborative. And that's why maybe before the different meetings that we'll have, maybe for, for not only now, but uh, later on the document, that somehow takes, takes some time to look at the challenges, uh, somehow in charge, and just consolidate, or just uh, raise is there some concern or some comment that are unresolved. But yes, of course, of course, uh, the contributors are always welcome, and even later. Yeah. Let me just look at the chat. Okay, looks good for an example. So let's, let's try to, to follow this plan, of course, I mean, you know we have to be flexible this time, <laughs> somehow. Um, let me go back, maybe now to... So yes, I was on this slide before, so yes, I think yet the sum was a template. Here, I don't think any big objection regarding the template, so we should follow with this flow point the challenge description. Maybe I want to highlight that we, we have to provide references. Uh, 
uh, in the different section actually they can cover differences. I think it's really important of course for state of the art but not only. Um, I think you can make a good, uh, good document here to, to provide it. Although we, uh, so, uh, I go here. Yeah. We have so, so we just have some lag here, but. Yeah, uh, as you know, as you, if you have read the game design, we have all different types of challenge. Uh, so we cannot uh, we cannot expect to have exactly the same level, uh, the same type of content in the different type of challenge. Some challenges are really uh, we have a network management problem, and we we have good uh, reason to say that uh, we can use AI to to resolve the challenge. We have some other problem is, uh, uh, okay, we mean, our AI is already used for certain uh, network management operation, and there is still some challenge regarding that, uh, that already exists. Um, and there are also some challenge which can be more related to how network management can be used to support a better AI. It's not really represented in the document, uh, but of course, we can, I think, as we said before, we can have other iteration. Um, so most of the challenges are related to the use of AI for network management, not with the other way around that uh, we were also thinking at the beginning of this document. <clears throat> so maybe uh, do not hesitate if you have any uh, any uh, common question. So yes, as we discussed a bit before, uh, some has requested to have uh, also maybe uh, an individual draft. So as I said before. Uh, we, if you go for uh, an ID, you will have to somehow select the author. Uh, so maybe the most, the top contributors will be the author and the other will be as acknowledgement, of course. If you think that we need all uh, in the authors, you have to ask a special request uh, afterwards. But it's, I think it's really only when you want to, if you want to go for, uh, for, um, for an RFC afterwards important to keep that in mind. Um, <clears throat> and so, yes, as I said before, we should freeze or at least uh, do not extend the list of challenges. Maybe we will use tier, of course, with the second iteration. Um, to be honest, this is also a personal point of view. We should avoid IBM specific challenges because I think we say that in the uh, somehow in the, in the beginning of this document, we don't want to be driven by particular uh, use case of technology. Um, so uh, we have two, two challenges that are related to IBM, so intent-based uh, networking. So the first one, which is about the intent policy generation and planning of actions. And the second one, which is about, um, uh, which is about the interpretation also of the Uh, so, sorry, sorry, this is, I mean, we have to, sorry, put me back to the, the list. So one which is about the interpretation of high level or natural language intents and generation of intents, and the second one, which is about the planning of action. Oh, yeah. Sorry, the, the song is a bit noisy, it's a bit stormy outside, and... Uh... So my, my idea would be that we should have, uh, to avoid that we have a specific IBM challenge, actually one is about also policy, so we look at the challenge now. So the idea would be to have 
one challenge which is about the some more intent for this generation is the planning operation. I think it's really important. Challenge of the feasibility to use using of AI to plan action in the form of information. But and I think it's independent of IBM actually. That's why I would say that we should describe this challenge in a more general way. And uh, there is another challenge which is one part is really about the interpretation of uh, of the uh, of the intent in natural form, in natural language, uh, in non-technical language. And so I would say that in that case, maybe one possibility would be to have a challenge related to the to the use of external or non-technical uh, data. Because you already want to propose a challenge about that. We could somehow merge together. Um, so we have also another challenge which is regarding the data accessibility. And this is uh, in my opinion this is a uh, really multiplicity and some of it has been has been split into the documents into two challenges and one was also related to the scalable real-time monitoring of data that can be used for AI. For me, this is also related to data accessibility. So we can have different levels of data accessibility. It can be just uh, from the, how to collect data, how to share data. And so I would also like maybe to, to merge uh, the two together. So just maybe if I just uh, sum up here. Um, as you can hear, no, I would say that the back tax sensibility here would also include what has been put uh, before in scalable real-time monitoring uh, proposition. And for IBM, um, so well, if you remember, we have uh, two IBM core. Uh, so one actually was fully policy time generation and planning affection. I would say we could describe in a more generic manner not only specific to IBM. And the other, which is about external and non-technical data, how to exploit maybe external and non-technical data, because I think one description was about the uh, use of NLP network management. In the, uh, actually, there was also the generation of internet that I put in the second line. So here is, again, my point of view, but uh, I would like also to hear from you what you think, if you think that uh, it makes sense to reshape the Challenge like that, of course, it could be more sense to. Sorry, I'm getting sorry. echo. I, I, have a, I have a comment on the intent for AI. Uh, sorry, I get a lot of echo. Um, uh, so I think this is not actually what I had in mind here. I think it's, I'm not quite sure I understand this policy intent generation planning of actions. I, I think this is not really actually an AI. Uh, role basically what I had in mind originally when putting this also also into the uh, into the list is actually specifically AI, but with the purpose of facil of facilitating intent based management. And because there are various things that can be done for this, for 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 example, in many cases, intent involves basically that you want to automatically apply some optimization. There are basically NP complete problems, for instance, and so forth that, that have to be uh, solved or addressed in order to fulfill intent. And basically, to solve an NP complete optimization problem, there's obviously a role for AI to play in that. And well, for anything from uh, automated uh, or intelligent planning to uh, yeah, basically to 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 optimizing uh, learning of heuristics and and what have you. So basically, there's a role that AI has to play in order to yeah you know, in order to facilitate these intent systems. And I did not see it at least from the title that you put on the slide. I did not see that quite uh, reflected. And I think I do agree with you that certainly we don't want to have an just an intent problem or so. Intent uh, or so per se is not really an AI, an AI problem. But there are many things where AI plays an important role, and I think that is what we would want to highlight here. Anyway, so that, that would be my uh, my comment. Um, and I'll, I'll be happy to, 
to to put some skeleton for to make make sure that this comes across that this is about AI. And um, anyway, so that, that that's my feedback. Yeah, the item item nine. I see you're sharing it on this on your screen here. Uh, hello, one comment here. So I was wondering uh, in the document there is uh, challenge A ML for intent based management, nine AI for intent based management. I was a bit confused by that because at least from the title I didn't really get the difference there. But now in the slides that uh, that were shown earlier, uh, the titles were different. So maybe that's already resolved. Yeah, I yeah I don't I, I, I no I I, I I we didn't really have a discussion um yeah online and so forth uh, um uh, regarding the eight and nine but the way i view actually uh, eight is machine learning this is really basic and also what is this, this described here is this, I, I believe this is actually really more um classification and learning techniques to detect patterns etc versus what we have in nine is really uh, basic more planning type of uh, ai for instance for instance one one of the analogies that I actually really like is basically this AlphaGo. Right? You, when you can solve AlphaGo to solve uh, yeah, game game problems, can you solve? Can you first apply similar approaches to solve management problems, particularly intent-based management problems? And that's uh, slightly different, I think, from what we have with traditional machine learning, which I believe is the intent of number eight, uh, which is really basically more about yeah, it says here to talk about uh, entity recognition uh, and so forth. So really, this is basically more classification type problems, which uh, I view is slightly different from what is from what nine, item nine is. Yeah, um, I had one one very similar uh, doubt the whole time when I was reading this document. Is that I think there's this big difference between typical uh, regression and classification approaches. I think that's what you meant with these typical ML problems, and then uh, these reinforcement learning and the planning uh, approaches like AlphaGo or uh, all the other ones that also don't really need data as inputs, but a simulation environment or environment that they can work in and that produce actions and don't predict uh, numbers like a regression model or classify like a classification model. So I think these two different kinds of uh, AI or ML approaches are quite different and can also be used for different things and also have very different requirements. And so I think uh, this is something that that you also were trying to distinguish with this challenge eight and nine, right? And I think that's also something that at least wasn't clear for me sometimes in the document what we were exactly talking about, because I do think that we should be able to distinguish the two. Yeah, I, I agree. So this is the, clearly they are different and I think we need to distinguish them in that sense. And of course, we can argue, okay, should we include uh, one of them or both of them uh, and so forth? But uh, I can only speak more towards item nine, but I think clearly they are, yeah, I think both are potentially important and both are worth their own <laughs> separate discussions, so to speak. Um, Alex, uh, do you think uh, the example I provided below would fall under the what you've got in mind? Um, for example, if you have like uh, a number of actions that could potentially lead to the uh, desired outcome, for example, using some some sort of intelligence to decide which one to choose according to some, um, let's say, the, the, the state of the network or the state of a server, for example, that executes uh, some applications and so on. So, so as an example, so, uh, uh, I'm not sure I fully understand your question. Sorry, can you can you rephrase this? Uh, so basically, yeah, sure, sure. Uh, under point nine, right um, mm -hmm. below the text you added in the first paragraph, I added another par paragraph at the end, right below the yellow, uh, the yellow point. Uh, if you look at the Google Doc now, I'm, I'm, I'm highlighting this part, and okay. I provided a couple of, I provided some example there um, that says mm -hmm. that. Um, you may have two actions that you can, uh, let's say, invoke, right? Uh, that uh, bo both of those actions can meet um, your objective, right? But one of those might be better than the other, right? So um, uh, this is potentially a case where um, some intelligence can help towards executing one action over the other because it might lead to a better result, right? 
So I was, I was mm -hmm. wondering if this would fall under um, what you have in mind and you described uh, in, in the first paragraph about. I, I think so. Yeah, I, I, that, that would be one part of that, right? Because yeah, you may not know what, what action to choose or what course of action to choose under what given context. Yeah. But clearly you need to make a choice. You have alternatives. So yeah, I, I, I completely agree. That would be part of the planning also of part. Yeah, you want to, op I mean, a lot of problems are also soft problems, you want to optimize things, right? You want to find the best solution. You don't know exactly what is better than the other, but you need to find mm -hmm. what is the what is the optimal course of action. So clearly, and this will depend on context, on experience, on on all kinds of uh, different factors. Exactly. So, I, I, so, so I, I I agree. Uh, yes. Okay. So so in that case, I mean, in the description that we come up uh, we come up with uh, concerning this uh, this point number nine. Then we describe we could describe for example the various things that could be taken into account um uh for making a, a more informed decision let's say right i mean in terms of the impact of invoking an action in terms of its relationship with the current state of the system and so on mm -hmm. okay all right. So, um, uh, Jerome, another comment from my side. I, I don't have a, a, a problem with merging. Um, let me see what the number, I think it was number 13. Uh, yeah, the real time monitoring bit that I had added at the time. Um, I don't mind, uh, uh, let's say, merging this with, um, what was it? Uh, was point number, point number two on data accessibility, right? Yes. Um, so long as you believe this, uh, because I'm not familiar with the with the framework there, uh, the 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 NTF. So long as you believe that this falls under the NTF, it's within the context of NTF. I don't have a problem at all. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. I think. Uh, so this is something that has been added now. I think my my idea here for the uh, for data accessibility is that uh, there are different uh, issues that uh, of course is about the monitoring on real time scalable is also about how to store the data is about how to share the data so uh, now that is the challenges with multi multi phase as I say or sub challenges I think it would be uh, somehow good to to merge. So, so in addition, for example, uh, of real-time monitoring, right? What, what could make another sub-challenge of this data accessibility? Because there's, there's not too much information under under point two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This challenge must be must be must be enhanced. So for me, challenge is uh, it's about, for example, you can say about uh, Maybe if you want to, to, to share data, there are some challenges about the anonymity, the anonymization of data. That can be a challenge if you want to use with uh, multiple, uh, let's say, uh, partners. Uh, there may be the, the issue of, uh, of the storing of data, uh, because uh, it's not only about uh, collecting data, but the storing, and uh, which, uh, let's say, uh, time perspective, or you select the data that you will keep uh, longer. And so, so you have different. I think there are different uh, parts. Um, right, right. Not, not all are technical. For example, for the tech city, we talk a lot about uh, people are not, uh, let's say, are not willing to share data, not because they don't want to share, but because most of the time they really don't know if there is a risk that there are sensitive data. You know, with, uh, for example, as I said, with anonymity, anonymization, we never know exactly what could be recovered afterwards or and of course I was a legal legal issue to share data that's for sure as well. So. I think I just forgot so, that so, sorry. Sorry, yeah, I, I'm not sure on the second check. Can you show the second one again? And just looking at this, well, I'm not quite clear here. So clearly, this one is a so uh, telemetry framework. And so forth. this is an important topic, but I and I, this is but I view this more. This is a, this is an enabler for AI, but I'm not sure this is really an AI topic in itself, right? Because the AI techniques or the problem, unless you so unless you're using AI to solve this problem. Um, but I don't think this is the case here, right? This is really just how can, how can we feed the AI 
and I'm so that's one of the things I think. Yeah, I'm I'm not sure if it's really in in the scope here. Uh, it seems a little bit borderline scope for me, but I think that is maybe something also to distinguish here. Is this really an AI topic, or is it what does it take to enable AI? Yeah, I think there is some similar comment actually for I go back to the number 13. I think there is a similar comment that is not some OEI, yeah, but it's more for enabling AI yeah. that you need to, to monitor the well, Yeah, but on the 13, I can perhaps see, okay, good. So clearly, yeah, scalable real-time monitoring is independent of AI, but of course, if you can say, well, uh, there is, however, here is how AI can make it better. But here are some AI yeah, some techniques, how can they can really help with this? For instance, I don't know, uh, if I can use uh, prediction techniques, which are AI to enable, I can, for instance, yeah, I, I can improve my monitoring. I can maybe basically select or be better in terms of, there, there I can describe something. This one, I can see that how you can frame this as an AI topic, but I don't see this so much with the second one. So, I, I, I agree, Alex, that it's, it can be seen as borderline, because because there is no really, uh, it's, it's not AI that uh, will, uh, that you will not use AI for such a challenge. But in my opinion, but again, it's, it's, it's really for, for discussion. Here we are not only documenting the, the challenge of uh, when you want to use AI for particular, let's say, uh, uh, for particular goal, like uh, getting data, monitoring, and so on. But if you want to use uh, AI in many cases, uh, as you will need data, there are some issues related to the acquisition, to the collection of the data. Uh, for me, it's... it's yeah, so, so, so maybe, maybe in terms of a structure for a document, this would be, well, if you want to say, well, on one hand, you have the challenges for AI and the problems that AI can help solve, but then the separate section would be, and here is, so what do you need as enablers for this? And one of the enablers will be, yeah, you need to have the proper data feeds, which includes obviously telemetry. Yeah. So there will be one way then to, to frame it. Okay, here are the challenges for, uh, well, here are the problems, here are the challenges, and here are the enablers or something, yeah. something like that. Yeah, yeah, I fully agree. And uh, it's really, it's a bit what I say when uh, we have different type of challenges. And if you remember, I don't put here again, but. Uh, some months ago, I tried to somehow categorize the challenges. And some are really related to the use of AI. Some of those are, yes, as more related in the data. Those people just say that we have issues with data labeling. Of course, you can use AI for automatically label the data. Um, so, so I think, yeah, all those are some. Um... But yes, fully agree with you that it's, it's not all problems are just not that we, we need to apply AI to solve the problem. Is that if you want to use AI, we have also some other problems that you have to solve before uh, before using AI. And, uh, and we can also think about how to, to make people uh, knowing how to use AI. This is also another problem that we may have. So, yeah. I, I don't know if uh, at that time, I mean, we, I, I would like to maybe keep uh, uh, just a list of channels with a description, and then you can try to categorize a bit again. Uh, but I think, yeah, so your, your idea is, uh, is uh, I think it's relevant that we have uh, also some enablers that we need to, uh, to think about or address before using the AI. Okay, great. We are near the top of the hour. Where, where do we go from here? Yeah. So just maybe if I go back to the slide, uh, maybe because I think we start with the, the, the question with regarding the IBM uh, challenges. I think if I understand well, we somehow all agree that the, the challenge, challenge that was uh, before, yeah, there is a challenge about the planning of action. Uh, I think it's important to keep it. Maybe as I said before, not only for IBM, but for different type of uh, let's say action. So really, we need to, to have this one. One which is a uh, go back to the list a bit here. Um, one we may need to continue the discussion on the mailing list is uh, the, uh, this, uh, this challenge. I think number eight. Um, yeah, regarding yeah, although the. Uh, 
there is a part of NLP here, I'm also using challenges, but I mean, I intend, sorry. Um, so maybe this, I will just uh, put the put the discussion on the mailing list. I think for, for this one, let me know if I'm wrong, but I think we agree that uh, it's important, but maybe it's not only intent-based management, just EA for um, some more actions or planning of action, I would say. Just let me know if I misinterpret what you said before. It's, sorry, I was distracted. I just say that for challenge nine, somehow it's more related to the planning of action rather than only specific to IBM. Sure. So I think for this one, for yeah. the number eight, I will yeah. turn up the mailing list. I think for the user related data, it's somehow agree in the, in the meetings that it's important to keep, maybe merge, and so I will also ask feedback on the mailing list. Yeah. I think they're, they're, I think they're different they're enough to keep them separate, but I guess we can provide the text uh, then, yeah, as we start writing. Yeah. And so yes, I'm sorry, we are, we are a bit late, we're running out of time. Uh, so also on the mailing that we are asking back within the template. I will ask also for volunteers for each section, uh, I mean for each challenge. Um, we have one, let's say, lead contributor or lead editor. And uh, sorry, you don't have time to, <laughs> to, to, but of course, if you are volunteer to, to lead one channel, just let me know now or just in the mailing list. And actually, you, as you can see here, the two challenges that uh, we were discussing now, I put as the challenges as example because you have some or many people who put their name here. And also because you merge in, so we have more people. And I think that would be good also to, to use as a, uh, as uh, Example to really write, uh, let's say, uh, uh, challenge uh, uh, all together, uh, something more um, consolidated uh, in a collaborative manner on these two. I think, in particular, the planning of actions that we discussed could be good. Uh, that if we start with this one, and maybe also data accessibility, because we have many people who say they are they intend to contribute. So as far as I'm concerned, so just for uh, I'm, 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 ha I'm happy to, uh, I, 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 I'm planning to, to contribute to these examples just with a timeline for, for me personally, I'll have to see how this works out because I'm on PTO until uh, right before, but I'll, <laughs> I'll try but just as a, as a FYI. Okay, thank you, Alex. <clears throat> So we try to send the email and mailing not too late. Uh, we try today or tomorrow uh, latest uh, to give you uh, to to I mean, to uh, provide feedback to the uh, community and see. But at least I think we are okay on the challenge list, and we have kind of uh, uh, timeline <laughs> at least. Um, so. Uh, is there any last remark, last comment? Uh, so we have to some words or run into another meeting. Okay, if there is no, uh, thank you, thank you for your time. Uh, and I hope that uh, we can continue on the main meeting so that we can reach the different uh, milestones that I took. Thank you again and talk to you soon on many days on another meeting. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.